Hi, I'm Nicola Askham and I'm back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. Now, today's question is, um, what's the difference between data governance and data management? And I'll be honest, on this occasion, the question hasn't arisen from one of my clients or from anybody emailing me in to ask me. Uh, this one actually arose because of a LinkedIn debate I may have started earlier this week. So I do troll uh, LinkedIn. I'm always keen looking out for what people are sharing about data governance because I just want to help people by sharing the good content out there. And I got quite excited that somebody had shared an article called uh, What's the Difference Between Data Governance and Data Management? Because I know from my own experience that lots of people get confused between the two. So I thought, oh, this would be really great to share. Uh, luckily, I opened it and read it first. And actually, it was really not, not good at all. So the um, article was telling you that data governance was all the things you can do to manage your data, so i.e. the rules and what you would want to do, and data management was the technical implementation of it. Now, I've told you that I want you to forget that because um, that isn't useful as a definition, I don't believe, um, and I think it will confuse you and your users if you're in the middle of trying to do a data governance initiative. So I really hate posting negative comments on LinkedIn and other social media, um, but I felt that it wasn't fair to let people share that kind of content, which could add to the confusion, because let's face it, doing data governance is challenging enough. We, we don't want to be trying to add new wrong definitions into the mix and make our lives even harder. So. I wrote a carefully worded um, comment on the post to say I didn't actually agree with it um, and prompted a, a debate where loads of people joined in. And, and somebody actually asked me on that, well, it's all very well if you disagree with that, what is your definition? I thought, nah, fair comment. So I decided that was going to be this week's video. So now you're expecting me to actually explain. Well, I think the easiest way to explain is to refer to the Dharma wheel. Now, if any of you haven't heard of Dharma, D-A-M-A, -A, Dharma is a data management uh, professional association. And if you're watching this video, you probably should uh, consider joining the, your local chapter. So there is Dharma International, the umbrella organization, and there are many chapters local to you all around the world. Now, Dharma, amongst many things, produces a um, data management book of knowledge known as the Dianbok. And what you will find in there are chapters on everything data management, every single discipline that you can think of. And what they do is they summarize this and have done for many years in a little diagram called the Dianbok wheel or the Dharma wheel. And if you try Googling those terms, you will find it and you will see a lovely circle broken up into segments um, and you will have different data management disciplines all the way around the outside and data governance in the middle. Now, um, I think this is really, really useful because it, it shows all sorts of different data management uh, disciplines that you can use to manage and improve your data. However, this Dehimbot wheel actually confuses people because people believe that data management and data governance, because data governance is at the center of the wheel, uh, are interchangeable terms for the same thing. And I get lots of queries about that. And can tell you that's not the case at all. Data management is the umbrella term for all the different disciplines that you can use in order to manage and improve your data better. And data governance is just one of those disciplines. Now, Dharma puts data governance in the center of that wheel because it actually underpins everything. Now, many of us start data governance initiatives primarily to monitor and improve data quality, but data governance is aligned to and supports all the other data management disciplines, whether you're talking about master data management, reference data management, data warehousing, data modeling, data architecture. There are so many out there, but once you have a good framework in place through having data governance, you have clear roles and responsibilities, and it is very easy for you, whatever discipline you work in to know who to contact to get consistent decisions made around your data. So I hope that has explained it, that um, data governance is one of many data management disciplines. So data management is the overarching umbrella term and data governance is just one of those disciplines that sit within that. I do hope that's been helpful. And if you've got any other questions you'd like me to address in future videos, please email them in to me at questions at nicolaraskam.com.